Welcome to a Business Growth Mindset Podcast. I'm Christian Lavalsi, and I'm super excited to share this episode with you. To all the business owners, uh, entrepreneurs, the crazy ones, the believers, the doers, the clever makers, uh, the action takers, and everyone else in between, this podcast was designed for you. We are almost uh, one month into 2020, and I hear the same shit from many people. I don't have enough money, I don't have enough time, uh, too little customers, and recruitment is difficult, and so forth. Please stop whinging and start taking action. The answers are in your fixed mindset. So today, I want to give you six ways to help your business grow in 2020 and get you in a more positive course. So stay tuned and listen up because I'm confident that you will love this episode. Business owners must be always thinking about how to reinvent a process, a system, their team and or a product. Customer acquisition should be a practice when you don't, it should not be a practice when you don't have enough customers. It needs to be a constant along with many other variables. The, the problem is that everyone gets busy and most of the time it's because of growth and failure. Now, people whinge about limited resources and poor cash flow all the time, but hear me, everyone started with nothing. You started with nothing, unless you were born with a silver spoon or you won the lotto before opening your business. Too many business owners forget where they started. So the first lesson for today is check yourself, become fully self-aware, know where you came from, who you are, what you stand for, and why you are here. This is about purpose and self-reflection. Becoming self-aware is one of the single most important traits of responsible leadership. I bet you you're thinking, I have no time. Um, Where I'm going, fine, this time to reflect. And if this is you, you're screwed, but you're not dead. So you still have the chance to change your mindset. Start by looking at why you have no time. Yes, pause for 10 minutes, find 10 minutes and focus on why you have no time. Write down an exhaustive list that is holding you back from taking control, being free and having balance. Now this process alone should help you realize that you actually have more time. More time than you thought. In fact, on average, my new clients discover five hours of extra time just by undertaking this exercise alone. Once you find that extra time, focus 100% on becoming clear about your purpose, the why you're in business, then for who, and then look at what you actually do. You see, now you've started to look inwards and you're self-reflecting on what's around you. In 2020, human connection will matter more than ever because we live in a fast-paced digital age where everyone is so busy that we ignore what makes us human. And that is other humans. <laughs> People are becoming so disconnected with reality and are being fed more bullshit than ever before. Just look at all the news channels, the propaganda, and the fake news. It's all over your device. Yes, that bloody very clever thing called a smartphone is causing um, irreversible damage to your mind and mine. People influence people, so be careful whose content you are consuming. And in the same token, you know, you become like the top five people that you hang around with the most. Now, I'm not entirely sure who said that, but Jim Rowan said something similar. And for the purpose of clarity and my love for research, Dr. David McClelland, a social psychologist from Harvard, found that people who habitually associate with you determine as much as 95% of your success and failure in life. Now, therefore, choose your human connections wisely and flourish or risk failing. By having a tight-knit circle of trust, you have the same ambitions and values, and it helps you connect with your purpose and helps you grow as an individual and your business. So for business owners, get back to basics and research and reconnect with your customers on a human level. Pick up the phone and say hi. Don't try and sell them something. Instead, engage in a meaningful conversation and why you ask, because your customers are your fuel and most humans feel isolated, unloved and lonely. But above all, they feel alienated because the world is increasingly driven by technology. And this will help you get to know your customers better and it will help you evolve your products and your service offering, which should lead to business growth through better understanding of your customers' needs and wants. 
in the first exercise on self-awareness, you should uh, articulate your values. So use them to develop your output and give your business that edge. Without defined values, your customers and associates will find it hard to connect with you, deeply that is, which creates long-lasting value. Customers are values-driven. So building your future content on your values will help you on your quest for customers to connect with you. Now, if you have been growing your business for years and have lost direction, clarity, or control, then it's likely that your messaging is also no longer valid, and nor is your method of communication. It's therefore critical to review your message and your assets and test them against your values and your brand's proposition. Note, engaging with your customers and creating a human connection driven by values will give you some great insight into future messaging. So I hope you can see the process and journey I'm talking you through in this podcast. If you can't, please stop and go back. Steps one to three alone should help you change your mindset, give you more clarity and increase sales. However, it all falls apart if you don't focus. Focus really does matter. When I say this to new customers, they are shocked. They look at me with shock and surprise and I mean, how dare I assume they are not focused? Now let's be perfectly honest. If you were truly focused on the things that mattered and shut all the bullshit out around you, you would be far more productive and efficient. I know this because I've been there too, and I have built powerful tools, processes, and systems to ensure I maintain that focus all the time. But let's take focus a step further. Is your business all things to everyone? If your message is confused and not relatable, then how is anyone going to buy from you? We all experience this from time to time. As an entrepreneur, I have experienced this when running many companies simultaneously. Despite all my efforts and all my people, my focus was stretched and each brand's focus was messed up. So my point is go back and review your product suite and make sure your product is aligned to your values, your message, and is focused on your customer. This will make it easier for them to buy from you, and this means more revenue. This is about clarity, so you can cut through the noise of the market and get your prospects' attention. Now remember, you need to define your niche and your customers first, if you have not already done so. Building value is a real challenge for most business owners and organizations, because they focus their entire process on the pain point and desire of their customers. In 2020, go beyond simply addressing these two areas for your customer and make a difference. What can you do to build a real connection with them? And more importantly, build value beyond their basic requirements. When I work with new clients, I always ask them a series of exploration questions to better understand them and their business. And I always start with a really simple one. What would happen um, if your business was forced to close tomorrow without notice? Would anyone miss it? If so, who and why? Would the world be the same without your business? Now, generally, this simple series of questions raises eyebrows, and often the answer is no. No one will miss it. No one will miss it. And yes, the world will continue to be the same. Now, if this is you, then you need to devote more time to uncovering their purpose, their DNA, their values, and what truly makes Uh, them tick and also what matters to them so you can find that intersection with your purpose and values. Now this approach is different and requires critical thought and analysis. It's about a growth mindset rather than purely results driven approach. This is about considering the long term relationship with your stakeholders not just your customers. Start to consider people, the planet and profit to create lasting value. So we have covered five of the six ways you can grow your business in 2020, and I hope that you have taken notes and found it useful. If not, uh, you can always replay, replay the podcast, right? My desire for you is to be able to apply my practices and advice to your business and your life so you, you can get more freedom, be in control, and have more time for your family. So the last thing I want to share with you is developing your brand's physical and mental availability in 2020. If you're not familiar with this approach, then I encourage you to look it up. In other words, what this means is, are customers thinking of your brand and are they able to access it when they're thinking of it? 
Now, when your brand is strong in both of these domains, then more people can easily buy your products. So what are they? Well, mental availability refers to the probability of a consumer um, noticing, recognizing, and thinking of your brand in a buying situation. Now, this is different than brand awareness, which is simply a link to your brand and product category and generally depends on a specific cue. Mental availability is how well defined the quality of a customer's mental structures are and how many of them exist. Now, to help you get started here, um, I've given you five actionable measures that you can take to increase your brand's mental availability. One, create distinctive assets. Two, get noticed. Three, continuously reach potential buyers. Four, refresh uh, brand uh, linked memories. And five, be consistent. So now that I've touched on mental availability, let me explain physical avail availability to you. Physical availability refers to the breadth and depth of your distribution in time and space. So how much product you're supplying in different areas at different times, it's rather straightforward, however, uh, for most brands because it becomes a supply chain problem. You need to be asking yourself, how can you get your products and services to your customers wherever they are and right when they want it. Now, this is the problem. So this is one of the biggest challenges for most brands and great brands spend a lot of time thinking about how to solve this problem. The reason why this impacts everyone is because every company has a supply chain of some sort, be it internal or external, a physical product or not, making the challenge a universal one. So let me share with you three measures that can help you and your brand move towards solving this problem. One, be across all platforms by being visible. Two, be accessible and available to transact and expand into new geographic locations. To level up on both mental and physical availability, brands need to understand whether your customer is an optimizer or satisfier. Now, both types of consumer preferencing will result in a different requirement, but when you nail it, you'll scale. Considering mental and physical availability in your business and today's fast-paced and always content-consuming environment, it's critical to choose your platforms wisely and dedicate most of your time and resources to one. This doesn't mean avoid the rest. It simply means share across as many platforms as possible, but focus your lead generation on one so that you can master it and dominate. Once you've mastered it, move into the next as you build your platform, keep asking yourself, how can you adjust to a changing world? How can you stay relevant and grow while being true to you? This mindset will make you very referable and help your business thrive, no matter what headlines are in store for you in 2020. So let's list the six ways to help your business grow in 2020 and get you into action. One, self-awareness. Two, human connections. Three, be values driven. Four, focus matters. Five, build value beyond pain and pleasure. And six, mental and physical availability. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And I hope that I have provided you with practical and usable references and tools to help you on your journey in 2020. Now, if you haven't already done so, head to amazon.com.au and purchase a copy of my book, An Introduction to a Business Growth Mindset. In the book, I draw on the lessons that I have learned. I present a straight-talking, no-nonsense guide to creating the business growth mindset that will give you the confidence and skills that your business and your team um, need to get to new heights. Uh, the book made the Amazon bestseller list in all books, which is particularly awesome and quite surreal. It got as high as 95 in all books. It has been featured by Amazon as the number one hottest new release in entrepreneurship and ranked as high as number 14 in entrepreneurship books. It's uh, available on amazon.com.au in Kindle and paperback. And yes, it's a real book. This book is for anyone who aspires to be better, not just in business. I've kept the language uh, simple and made sure it's not too wordy so that it can be easily interpreted and applied without needing a degree. <laughs> now, I would love for you to grab a copy today and support me on my quest to help others become the best version of themselves. Until next time, uh, live with purpose.
Are you ready to start taking action on your business? Would you like to spend more time with your family? Then call 1300 643 229 and start building momentum right now. I know you're busy. In fact, you are so busy that you don't have time to work on your business or yourself. Often tossing and turning at night, worrying about the how to's and the cash flow. How on earth can you possibly get? off the hamster wheel so that you can take a helicopter view to see where you'll be in 90 days, one year, or three years from now. In this program, I will take you from sleepless nights to blissful sleep. You'll have more time with your family and you will have the clarity and direction so you can grow and flourish. Call 1-300-643-229 now and start building momentum.